I was asked by some folks the other day on a in an interview why I felt the Hosea prophecy. Um, you know, okay, so all right, we get it. Five thousand blackbirds fell out of the sky at BB, Arkansas, and a few more birds fell here and there in Maryland or somewhere, and some fish washed up. But come on, Paul, don't you think that was just a a, a rare occasion, some kind of weird weather pattern or rare event? Is that why he wrote the book? Is this because you just, you know, you really, do you really believe there's something biblical going on? Something biblical's going on with the signs of the second coming of the Lord? And that's what they asked me. Well, my answer is real simple. Yes! 900 dead dolphins later, millions of fish, birds, and oh, by the way, the 5,000 blackbirds that fell out of the sky on BB Arkansas. 12 minutes before midnight on New Year's Eve, breaking in the year of 2011, the year of judgment. Guess what? It happened again the next New Year's Eve. Same town, same time frame, close to midnight. Matter of fact, I was on the air doing a New Year's Eve radio broad, uh, television, you know, streaming broadcast on my own network, PaulBeckleyProphecy.com. When the birds started falling out of the sky in Arkansas again, on New Year's Eve again, 6,000 this time. What? Is God breaking the seals? Is the ancient prophecies of Hosea, are they actually in play and not going away? Exactly. I got the scripture in my hand, Hosea chapter 4, 1, 2, and 3. But let me read to you quickly. And first of all, there won't be any Sunday morning broadcast from Community Gospel Baptist Church this morning as uh, both of the both of the uh, Mike is working and Heidi's working it will not happen but there will be a broadcast tonight at paulbegleyprophecy.com that's paulbegleyprophecy.com from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time it will also be on blog tv and livestream.com so don't miss it 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, three hours, right here from the studios here in West Lafayette, Indiana. We'll be broadcasting at paulbegleyprophecy.com. Quickly, Lima, Peru. Peruvian authorities are still trying to unravel the mystery of why hundreds of dolphins ended up dead on the beaches in the country over the last two and a half months. Why? Deputy Environment Minister Gabriel somebody, his name's this long, Paul Begley vocabulary struggles. The Associated Press, he told them in an interview on Friday that studies are incomplete, but officials hope to complete their research on the likely causes next week. See, they can't even come up with it. In, in any, either way, 877 dolphins and quite a, <laughs> were found between February and mid-April on the beaches of northern Peru. And folks, here's the thing you need to understand. There's not hardly any dolphins in that area. I mean, they're rare, rare, rare do you see a dolphin in that part of the Peruvian coast. So why are 900 of them washing up on the banks in Peru? What's causing the millions of birds that are dying all over the world by the thousands of different areas? What's causing millions of fish to wash up on the shores of Venezuela, Australia, New Zealand, Chesapeake Bay, Redondo Beach, California, and China, lakes and ponds across America and in Russia and in parts of Australia and Europe? What's causing, what's causing cattle to fall over dead in Stockton, Wisconsin? 90% of the mule deer is in Yellowstone National Park. 165 elephants and hippopotamuses in Zimbabwe. 7,000 buffalo in Vietnam. What's causing 10,000 dead cattle in Russia? Nobody, here's the deal. I'll tell you what it is. Nobody knows. Why are these 877, almost 900 dolphins dead in Peru? The Bible says, Hosea, the prophecy of Hosea. The prophecy of Hosea says these words. Hear the word of the Lord. This is in your Bible, Hosea chapter 4. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel, for the Lord has a controversy 
with the inhabitants of the land. Nobody wants to hear this. They're looking at running. Somebody go get the get the coroner. Go get the do some toxicology. Go find out what's in the air. Yeah, the land is greatly polluted. We already know that. But the sin is the pollution, folks. It's the sin. It's the immorality. It's the lack of faith in God. It's the idol worship. Let me read it. Hear the word of the Lord, you children of Israel, for the Lord has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Because there's no truth. Just start there. There's no truth. Lying in the media. Lying in the papers, lying in the magazines, lying in the propaganda, lying in the politicians, lying in the governments, lying in the churches, lying in the schools, lying and lying and lying because there's no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. And by swearing and lying, killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out in blood touches blood. Therefore shall the land mourn. Everyone that dwelleth therein shall languish with the beasts of the field, with the fowls of heaven. Yea, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. I'll read on. Yet let no man strive nor reprove another, for thy people are as they that strive with the priest. It's one thing to be doing all these other things and sins and stuff that's creating such turmoil upon the animal population of the earth, but they don't stop there. They, now they're striving with the priest. Therefore shalt thou fall in the day, and the prophet also shall fall with thee in the night, and I will destroy thy mother. It's going to get worse, in other words. And my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Listen to me, fluffy puffy. Guys, you pastor, uh, listen, prophets, pastors, listen. This is not an attack at all. This is just, re, re, listen, preach the gospel. Preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Please, folks, let's do the right thing. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I have also forgotten thy children. Mm. As they have increased, so they sinned against me. Therefore will I change their glory into shame. This is what's happening to the earth. We have brought so much sin upon the earth. We've rejected the law of God and we have rejected the knowledge of God. We need to get back to the altar. We need to get back to Jesus, to the foot of the cross. We need to repent of our sins. We need to call upon the name of the Lord so we can be saved. We're running out of time. This is your Sunday morning message. Tonight I'm going to preach in the fire and the anointing of God. We're going to break down all of the Hosea prophecy issues. We're going to talk about the mark of the beast. We're going to discuss the end of times in Bible prophecy. But listen. And the slaughter going on in Syria. But, 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 but my, my question to you is, have you given your life to Jesus Christ? Have you been born again? Are you free from sin? Or are you still bound and wrapped in the chains of darkness? No, the, the birds are going to keep dying, folks. The cattle are going to keep falling over. The big game, the big, the big animals. The fishes, they're going to wash up the whales, the dolphins the blue herrings in Norway. It's going to keep happening. The blackbirds are going to keep dying. Are you saved? The land is going to mourn. I'm asking the Christian people of, of the world to start praying for revival. I'm going to have a internet revival soon. I'm looking at May. I'm going to give you the date where I'm going to hold from Sunday night through Friday night, every night live broadcast on my own website, paulbegleyprophecy.com. We'll also stream on livestream.com, blog TV. I'm probably even going to be on Justin TV and Ustream. I mean, we're going to just blow it all wide open. I'll have five chat rooms. We're going to do a call to repentance, a mighty move of God. And I need you to start praying about that. If you need to be saved today, 
send me a personal message right here on this YouTube channel and title it, I want to be saved, I want to be saved, I want to be saved.